dear service now family today i am going to start a all new series on data sources in this video series we will understand like how we can import data to our service now tables from different data sources available for example file jdbc server or ftb server this video will discuss about the import set transform map transform script coalesce or different configuration which is used in a data source so let's begin with this video first what is a data source data source in service now is a configuration record that defines where and how external data will be imported in a service now table in this picture we have some different external data source available okay we have jdbc ftb server file different type of file like excel csv or xml and we are importing that data to our different different service now table so how we can do this okay and what is a what is this import set table import sets are again a table we can also call it as an staging table import sets are used to import data from various data sources into service now table like whenever we load the data that data goes into the staging table and with the help of the transform map it got transferred to the target tables transform map within the transform map we can define the mapping of the field suppose we have one field called user in the file how that user will be mapped to the service now field so that is defined within this transform map you can pause and read that they enable the transformation of the data during the import process allowing you to map manipulate and validate data before it get inserted into the target table suppose we are getting data from a file okay so whenever we click on the load data we will uh, create the configuration as well but just now to understand the model of data source i am uh, writing here so from the file where this data will go this data will go in the staging table okay or we can say it import set table we need not to create the staging table whenever we create a data source the staging table will automatically gets created okay from here this data will automatically be mapped to the target table but for mapping we have what we have transform map if we wanted to validate or we wanted to what i'll say uh, manipulate the data we use transform scripts another configuration which we use within this uh, data source is coalesce we'll understand what this coalesce is basically it is used to find the duplicate records coalesce fields okay so to make you understand i have created a file here within this file we have this data like first name last name email and contact number and what we do what we want is we wanted to import this data to our user table so i'll create the data source configuration one by one and we'll see how we can import it in our data source as of now i am closing this file okay so uh, i'll go to my personal development instance now and i'll just type data source under the system import set i'll open this section data source and another way is you can also do it via load data same okay so under the data source what i'll do i'll start creating a new data source simply i'll just give the name okay um the name is user data demo okay 
now give this imports a table name okay user stage import set table name automatically gets created i am selecting file format as in excel okay you need to also give this a uh, seat number so here you can see that a uh, seat number is 1 i'll give 1 and header row is also 1 Let's attach that file from using this attachment. Once you save this record, you will see this is import set table. What I need to do is I need to load all records. Or we can test uh, and load 20 records as well. You will see here that the it has processed all the four records which we have in the table. It has loaded into the staging table now. Okay. By clicking on this loaded data, you can see the loaded data as well. Okay. Or what, I, what you can do is just simply open the data source again. okay user data demo you can also check like while just go here give dot list so this was the staging table which is automatically gets created whenever we uh, submitted our data source and load the data okay now how i can transform this data to our user table now so what i need to do is my load data is ready what i need to create is in the transform map okay we can click here to create the transform map or what we can do is simply you can click here as well create transform map okay i'm giving name tm user okay if you wanted to run the business rule when we load the data you can run Otherwise, uh, what service now suggests this is not the best practice, so we can disable it as well. Okay, here, what we can choose is the table where we wanted to load the data. In our case, it is user table. I'll select user table. Okay, if you wanted to run any script, we can run the script, else, I'm not running it here. Or uh, what we can do is just simply we have this contact number so this contact number will be mapped to the user phone number okay okay we have another field called business phone so what I'll do here let uh, let's run some script as well we have some predefined parameters so what i am doing is i'll map one field target dot this field phone target dot phone will be automatically source dot you contact number okay what i am doing is i'll just mapping phone number to this contact number like additional field we are mapping here using this script okay now, we have these many related links available so this is the mapping assist if you wanted to manually map the field we can use this mapping assist Otherwise, what I can do is we I can use this auto map map matching field. Okay.
so you will see here it has automatically picked like first name will go in first name last name will go in last name email will, will go in email okay and uh, this contact number where this contact number will go in the phone okay this is what we are doing from the scripting now it is the time to run our transform map and to validate okay uh, this coalesce thing or mapping assist we will i'll explain in my next video where i am going to create a very exciting use case we will see the use case of the transform script as well like we will create multiple transform script in that uh, use case okay this video is just for the demo purpose to make you understand what this data source is how we can load the data and how we can use it okay so now our data source is ready transform map is also ready okay i have saved this or not let me save it again okay click on transform so here we have only one transform map so I, it will be automatically get selected if you have created multiple transform map you can select your transform map from here so once you click on this transform button okay it is saying that the status is complete and the complete is completion code is success that means all the data has been transformed you can check it from here as well it says the total four record all of four of them get inserted none of them has updated okay none of them is ignored or skipped so so now let's validate our user table has updated or not how we can do it is simply go in this user table and open it in list view you can see here these four records or how we can short it let's short it by created on today okay so these are the four record which we have mapped are now in the user tables uh, they are created successfully and you can see here these three fields name or we name is created by a i can see use first or last name first name and last name we mapped so you'll see here first name last name and email are mapped which we have done through this mapping assist and this is the phone number it's going is get mapped which we have done through the scripting okay so i have just demonstrated like how the data source will work in next video we will see different different use cases like how we can use the different type of transform script how we can go about the jdbc server like extracting the data uh, from jdbc server and how we can uh, use them in our service now table we will also see this uh, import set api okay we will see different different huge case of it so please watch my next video in this series and uh, i'm pretty much sure that by the end of this series you will not be having any any doubt about this data source thank you so much for watching